Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and today we are going to be filming a super, super simple everyday routine with some products that I have been enjoying and I think this is a really easy look that you can incorporate and do before work, do before just going out to lunch with friends, really easy. So, hope you guys enjoy and let's get started. This is my everyday makeup bag. So, let's get to it. Let's start off with... Holy Grail, you know, the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. It's just a good one. Good in the neck area as well, just because we're going to be applying some foundation and contour down here too. Okay, next going to move on to this MAC foundation, which this was always my favorite foundation. Although I think the Estee Lauder one has surpassed it, but this is definitely still one of my favorite foundations. Great matte finish, great coverage. It's just a good one and it's cheaper than the Estee Lauder one. Make sure to get in there into the eye corners because a lot of times I miss that area. I don't know about y'all, but I do. All right, we've got a good base on now. So now I'm going to actually go ahead and set all of this for now with my Laura Mercier translucent powder. Especially on the eyes because I applied some foundation there. And I don't want it to crease. Okay. Now let's go in and just contour highlight really quickly with the shape tape. And I've got some other concealers and other, I have the creamy one to try. This is just the regular one, but I just recently got the creamy one. And I also have the Born This Way um, Too Faced Concealer that I have not tried and it's still unopened. So I'm using a lot of this because I'm trying to get rid of it. I'm trying to move on to other products. So if you know, you know. Okay, and let's go ahead and I have some new contour product coming. I'm really excited to try the V products by Jamie Genevieve. Uh, if you don't watch her stuff, you really should. She's really cool and I'm really excited to try out her makeup products for the first time. So there probably will be a haul video for that coming soon. But in the meantime, just going to be using my It Cosmetics um, for contouring. And then of course with this Patrick Ta brush, which really makes contouring really easily. Um, really easy. I, I mean, I really recommend this brush. I mean, it's just the shape, the way that you apply it, so easy. And since this is more of an everyday kind of look, I'm really not going to be using too many products and it's not going to be a really heavy look, but I still want to look cute. I'm going to lunch with my friends. Then my brow routine. So far, nothing new to see here. Still just filling in with the NYX pencil and taupe and going over that with my Essence Brow Gel. I do definitely want to try this soap brow trend, but we'll see. I definitely am going to be trying it soon, so we'll see if I like it. But so far, yeah, just going to skip this part because, like I said, nothing new to see here. So we're almost done. See, it's been pretty quick. We've got all our base and basically we just need to do quick, quick eyes, blush, highlighter, and a lippy. Now we're done. So, so quick, so easy, okay? So let's go ahead and finish the face and then we'll move on to the eyes. So let's go ahead and do the blush. Again, like I told you guys, I've been using the Rare Beauty cream blushes and I'm in love, been loving them. They're so easy to use, perfect for an everyday look. Because really all you have to do, I do want to get, I do eventually want to get a cream blush brush separate from my powder brush, but I've just been using the two fingers and going in and it's been working for me. It's so easy in the morning for work, for really anything, and yeah, so starting up here from the top, tapping down into my Adam's apple here because 
we want that lifted look, but we do want some more color on our cheek, our apple of our cheek, and then here, some color on the bridge of the nose, and down here. And yeah, so easy, so quick. And you can build, it's obviously buildable because you can see me just adding and adding and adding more product. Love a good pigmented brush. So that stuff is great, and that's in the color Nearly Rose. And then I'm just going to go over it with a powder brush really quickly, which is my love in It Cosmetics. So you don't have to do that, but I'm going to just to like, just to set the cream product. Oh my lord, that was a lot right there. Oh, we salvaged it. Oh, good. Okay. Now we are. We got on a lot of blush, but I love it. So let's finish up our face. Again, this was such an easy, quick face look that you can do every day. This is pretty much what I do do every day. And I'm going to go in with this Rim Beauty highlighter in the color Miss Mercury, which is kind of like a champagne -y, kind of neutral -y color. And you saw in my video earlier, I broke it a little. So sad. And also, I'm on the notify list for the purple one. I'm a purple highlighter girl and they are really hard to come by lately. Like really hard. So if you know of any other purple highlighter that's really good besides from Beauty, let me know. I'm really interested in the Anastasia Hills Moonchild um, palette. It had some purple blues. I love the icy highlighters, but the natural highlighters are the popular ones and obviously better for an everyday look, but I just love the purple ones. Can anyone relate to me? So again, now that we've finished all the face, let's just set that one more time with this Laura Mercier powder, just to be safe. Very lightly. Okay, so face is done. Now let's move on to our really quick and easy eyes. So today I'm going to be using my Laura Mercier All Year Round 31 Baked Eyeshadow Palette, which is a really good neutral palette. It has a lot of colors and pretty much everything you can need. So I'm going to start off with just going over the whole eye with a base like white color, just to get all that redness and veins and all that kind of out of the eye area. All right, so that's that for the base, really quick. Now, we're just going to take a couple brown colors, just two. We're gonna take a lighter one to start off as a transition color into the crease. And then we're going to go into a little bit of a darker color just to build that crease up. So, let's go ahead and get started. So, let's start with this really, really light color in the palette. I'm taking a really fluffy brush to blend this out with. This is actually the Sephora 27, and I've really been enjoying it lately. Let me zoom you guys in a little bit. Okay, and then blending this up and out into the rest of the eye area. So it's not, because this is the transition color, so we don't want it to be as harsh. And you honestly could probably use a bronzer duo for this. So yeah, just use whatever you can. But now we're going to, now that we've built up that color in the crease for the transition color, we're going to go in with a darker color just really quickly and blend that out. So you see how we built up that color. Well, don't do that. We built up that color really well and blended it all out. Make sure to get that last bit of blending in. And then we're gonna move on to the easiest fun part. We're just gonna take this little Thrive Cosmetics eye brightener stick and we're going to fill in that lid color with it. And 
It is called the Brilliant Eye Brightener, and the color that I have today is Aurora, so it's kind of like a rosy, shimmery color. We're just coloring this in right here. So easy, perfect product for an everyday look. And since this is a cream shadow stick product, I'm just going to take a similar color um, and go over that just to set the product. Um, you can also just take a normal setting powder if you need to. And that's it for the shadow. Really, really easy. Just two colors in the crease, this one stick product on your lid, and then just make sure to set the cream product. So easy. And then just to finish, if you want it to be really, really easy everyday look, you could go with no liner. Um, if you wanted to do a little more work, you could do an eyeshadow liner, which is always really easy and you don't really have to worry about messing it up as much. Um, but today, since I'm going to lunch with my friend and I, I just love a good black wing liner, I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. And actually, here's another option. Just do the liquid liner right across the lid and don't do the wing. That's pretty easy too. Well, the wings ended up being a little larger than I anticipated, but it's okay. They're here, and so yeah. Like I said, you don't have to do the wings. You can just do a liner, a shadow liner, you know, something easy. So now I'm just going to finish this off with this mascara that I actually have been loving. Um, it's by Thrive Cosmetics, um, just like the eye brightener was. Um, also, side note, Thrive Cosmetics donates to causes, um, like women's causes and stuff, so can't go wrong, that's always great too. But anyways, this is kind of like a high-end mascara that is very similar to the L'Oreal Telescopic. It really separates the lashes and really lengthens them. So the only weird thing about this product is whenever you remove the eyeshadow, it kind of comes, or not eyeshadow, the mascara, it kind of comes off like flaky. So that's kind of interesting, different, but I am loving this. Okay, so that is the finish. Look, the only thing we have left is lips and setting spray. I'm just gonna fill in my lips with this. Let me zoom you guys back up. Just gonna fill in my lips with this Patrick Ta liner. And I'm not gonna use any lipstick, just liner. And it's in the color She's Humble. And again, these Patrick Ta ones are really great because of how they're angled. And that's that for the lip. So, just going to do this setting spray. It's Urban Decay. All nighter. Stuff works. It's great. And that completes the everyday makeup look. This is a really easy look. You can recreate. You can do it before work. You can do it really quickly. It's awesome. So, hope you guys enjoy. Maybe you'll want to try out some of these products. And thank you for watching.